So if you work with other people in Google Sheets, it's likely you're gonna want to protect some ranges or worksheets once in a while, just to make sure they don't accidentally get erased, changed, or something like that. So as an example, you might have this worksheet where these few columns are for column entries, but you have a formula here for running total that basically just drags all the way down. And you might want to make sure that this area doesn't get accidentally erased. So what you could do, you could just select the area that you don't want to be edited by other people, right click and do protect range. And that will get you here. You don't have to enter description, but you could if you wanted to. And then the next thing is set the permissions. So right now, see, this is the range from G2 through G7 in this worksheet. So now if I click set permissions, so you have a couple of options here. One is the show a warning. So that means that if you switch to this option, you are still letting other people edit this, but it will give them a warning before they actually get to editing the cells. So if you don't want them to touch this, then you probably want to restrict them. And you could restrict them to everybody other than yourself. So you could just keep only you. And at this point, if I had done, if I share this worksheet with other people, they won't be able to edit this portion. So I can still get in here and make some changes to this formulas. And I can remove this formulas if I wanted to, but others won't be able to do this. Now, another thing you can do if I go back to this and click on this is if I change permissions, so I get to the same screen, you can change this instead of only you to do custom. And now what you could do, you could basically just list all the emails that you want to allow to actually change the range and everybody else will not be able to change the range. I'm going to switch this back to only me and click done and now we have this. And you're not limited to one range. So if I wanted to add another one, let's just click done on this one to make sure it's done. So I could go here and select this other range. Let's say I don't want them to be able to change any of these headings. I can select that, add that plus and set permissions. And again, only you and done. So if you close this now, basically those ranges, basically this and this are protected. Now, if you want to remove those at some point, you can just right click on this and do protect range again. Someplace in that area, this thing is going to show up. And now you can see all those protected ranges. See if I've rolled over, it kind of highlights them. So if you don't want one of those, you can just click on this and click on this little trash icon and basically just remove those. Close that, we're done. Now another option you have is to protect the entire worksheet. So let's say you have multiple worksheets and here you're doing some work together in this worksheet, whatever that's gonna be. Now in this expense report sheet, you want to make sure that nobody can change anything on this. So what you could do, you could just right click on this worksheet name and just move to protect sheet. Now this is gonna protect the whole worksheet. So if I do protect sheet, see again, you can enter some description. I'm gonna skip that one. And that's the actual worksheet. So I'm gonna again set permissions and only me, or you can do custom to list multiple people and done. And you'll see this little lock appears indicating that there is protection on this worksheet. Now, again, there is no protection from me. I can still make changes to this, but other people won't be able to do this. So now this worksheet is protected from other people who are logged into the spreadsheet to make any changes to it, but we'll still be able to work together on this one. Even if you give them added permission, they're gonna be able to work with you on this one, but they're not gonna be able to do any changes to this. They will be able to read the worksheet still. Close this. And then if you want to remove this again, you're gonna click here again, go here, right click someplace, protect 
this and see that shows up, expense report. And if I wanna change this, just click on this and remove. And see the lock is gone. Now it's no longer protected. Now in some cases, what happens is that you want to protect most of the worksheet, but there are a few cells that you want unprotected. So let's say I don't want anybody to write to anywhere in the spreadsheet, except of just entering some amounts in this area. So the way you could do that, you could just right click on this and go protect sheet the same way I was doing this. And here, when you do this, there's this option, accept certain cells. So I check that box and here we can add what cells they should be able to write in. So I'm gonna click on this and go here and select a cell or a range. In this case, it's gonna be a range. And if you have multiple ranges where you want them to be able to enter something, I can just click add another range and then go and select, let's say this column of dates. So now see this range F2 through F7 is gonna be unprotected and B2 through B7 is gonna be unprotected too. So you can keep adding more ranges. Once you're done, you press okay. Then we click set permissions. And again, we just choose you or custom, whoever is supposed to be able to still edit the whole worksheet. Do that and click done. And now the worksheet is protected except of those few cells over here. So other people would be able to still enter some dates, enter some amounts, but any other part of this worksheet is gonna be protected. So those are three types of ways you can protect your sheets. You can do the whole worksheet, you can do the whole worksheet except some cells, or you can do some ranges or some cells protected and the whole thing unprotected, which was the first option I was talking about. Now again, removal is the same process. You just have to make sure this thing pops up and the easiest way to do that, just right click someplace and do protect range and that will pop up. And then you just basically select the one you wanna get rid of and click on that little trash icon, hit remove, close this and we're done. And that's pretty much all there is to protected ranges and protected sheets. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.